Hey guys, Tiago here with Classical Technology. Thank you for joining me for another video. Today, we're gonna to be doing a brief tech news on a very exciting processor month. We're gonna be talking about what's going on between the Ryzen AMD processors, Threadripper processors, as well as Intel. What's gonna come up this month? Let's take a look. All right, guys, so if you've been checking the news recently, the big drop has been the Ryzen 3950X. This is a 16 core, 32 thread processor. This basically spells a lot of problem for Intel, who's been struggling lately in that HEDT high-end market with their X299. Now, this processor with early benchmarks has been shown to beat even the 9980XE in a lot of cases, which originally was about $2,000 compared to the 3950X, which is about $750. So recently, I've been checking on different websites, Micro Center particularly, and I've seen these 9th generation X299 processors drop in price like a rock. More interestingly, there was a $350 10-core processor, the 9820X, which if you remember a few years ago, the 6950X on the X99 platform, that was also almost a $2,000 CPU. Now you can get a 10-core that beats it for $350. Now, the only caveat here is only a couple of Micro Center stores still have them left. So I think there were actually people watching these just waiting for the price to drop. And then, bam, they picked them all up. Even though AMD has really been given a hurting to Intel, these are still great processors. Generally, for the price, they weren't really that popular. A 10 core at $350, there was a little bit faster version, which was $399. And then the 9920 and the 9940 were also much cheaper. The 9920 was $499 for a 12 core, which puts it right at the same price as the Ryzen 3900X. Now, the 3900X is still faster than that particular processor. Even though comparing 12 core to 12 core, the AMD is going to win out. And in this case, it's a much newer processor. And then the 14 core, which is $599, that's not that bad either. But the performance delta between the 9940X and the 9960X, it's really not that great. And even at the slashed micro center prices, you know, basically a fire sale on these processors, it's still $799 for the 16 core, which historically is good but now with the new pricing trends it's not that great really because the ryzen 3950x 16 core is going to be 750 dollars and definitely really beat this one in terms of performance because it's initial benchmark show it's even beating the 9980xc and beating pretty much everything so the sweet spot here seems to be the 14 core if you want good value for your money because 599 for a 14 core processor as good as ryzen is that's really not a bad deal either if you still like Intel. I've even talked with some other PC enthusiasts in Europe, like in Germany, and they can't believe the price that you can get a 10 core Intel processor for. You know what, the newest one basically. But this is specific to the Micro Center stores. I guess they just want to get rid of this inventory to make way for the new ones. And of course, the Intel X299 processors just haven't been selling compared to AMD. Now with these cheaper prices, I definitely was keeping an eye on the stock across maybe six different Micro Center stores in sort of that Northeast area. Um, and it went out pretty quickly. There's still a couple left in a few stores here and there, but in general, the stores that had them, really, I think people were watching and they snapped them up because it's still a very good deal. But definitely the big news here is that AMD is really, really taking over the marketplace. Intel is definitely struggling to keep up. The only thing they've been able to do is slash prices by a lot. But the general zeitgeist or the feeling of the, you know, enthusiast space, it's definitely benched really heavily towards AMD because, you know, they were the ones that really caused the Intel price drop with having their Ryzen 3900X at 499, a 12-core processor. It's the first time these 12-core processors have really made their way into the mainstream. And at that price, it really changed the game and absolutely destroyed the high-end market for X299. So in that case, we really have to thank AMD for really dropping the price here. Um, and Intel, I don't know if they saw this coming or if they're just too slow to react. 
but you know the most they could do is drop these prices and the next 10th generation that's coming out you know the, the prices aren't bad either it's competitive at least now you know 18 core for around a thousand bucks compared to a 16 core for 750 dollars from amd it's a little bit closer by the looks of it the 3950x looks like it's a monster performer it may even beat the new 18 core even though we can't really speculate on any rumors we're gonna wait until it's out and see what happens but at least it's a smaller 250 dollar difference where it may make sense for you if you use intel you may be able to do quad channel memory or maybe you have software that's more optimized for intel so it's not as big of a difference it's not like we're talking about twice the price but AMD's really, really taking over the market. I mean, this 3950X is unbelievable. Even if you're not in the market to buy something like that, it's pushing all of the other processors to have not only better performance, but lower prices. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this news brief on processors. Remember, we post new videos every Tuesday and Friday and tech news every Monday. So let me know down in the comments which processor you're most excited about, um, which one you have right now, and maybe which one you plan to get within the next month or two like the video and please subscribe if you enjoy the content thank you and i'll see you on the next video